No match highlights today, but I'm in the area and decided to visit this ground just to have a walk around the ground. If you like, this is a quick bolt around Holt. Welcome to Around the Ground. Good afternoon everyone, it's a Sunday afternoon, the 11th of October 2020. I've just been to Holt Country Park uh, with my wife, daughter and her dog. Uh, lovely area that is if you ever get the chance. And on the way back I said, oh there's a ground around here, you wouldn't mind if I just popped in. I thought it was just going to be a field. I am so pleasantly surprised. Um, looking back, there's the clubhouse, doesn't that look great? And as the sun comes out to greet us, there's a stand here. There's white rails around both sides of the pitch. I am so, so pleasantly surprised. And floodlights. Who knew? I was going to come here yesterday, actually, for a game, and then got, um, well, if you like, enticed away by an FA Vars match at Sheringham, which was rubbish, um, as much as I liked the grounds. But there's the covered area. Look at that, an advertising boarding all the way along there. The dugouts, which are great. It's about half a mile, maybe a mile from the town centre of Holt, I think. I came through on a car, so a bit difficult to tell. It's not far away. And it's lovely here, it's just in a recreation ground, really. There's a, a cricket pitches here. There's some more dugouts, a little stand in the distance there, which I'll take a, um, you'll get a better view as I go around the far side. I'll take a shot of that, some stills at the end of this video. So here's the covered area here. Maybe that's the tea hut there. And just a bit of, a bit of cover um, there, so to keep you dry on a wet afternoon. So fantastic. Well done Holt for having this facility here. Um, tree lined up there, very attractive it is too. And here's the dugouts and I should be able to squeeze through there because I went for a run this morning. And here it is, here's the home dugout. So half a dozen bucket seats, fantastic. Oh, I should have run further. Right, here we go. So. The away dugout, obviously there, but I, attractive brickwork. Um, I like that. Not so fond of the green at the back there. I like just the brickwork as it is. Um, but what I like is kind of irrelevant, really, isn't it? So nothing at the far end, just feel. But as you can see, there's white rail all around here. I have to confess, I'm going to have to look up where. Holt United players, is there still a Holt United or is it Holt Development or something in the North Norfolk League? A league I've never been to. Don't really care, it's just a lovely ground to have a look round. So that's a nice view over there of the clubhouse. We'll just walk a bit further towards the far goal. And then we spin back and there's the dugouts and the little stand. There, nice flat pitch. Pitch looks great, actually. Might be a slight slope on it, but nothing to write home about. Lots of other smaller incidental pitches ahead of me. So a nice facility, basically, for the community. You could easily have two or three matches going on at the same time. Seagulls love it as well. It's great, something for everyone. So surprised by the floodlights. Really didn't expect that. I didn't expect a white rail. It's a lovely part of the world. This is for, for those of you who don't know, Holt is on the North Norfolk coast, very near Sheringham, very near Cromer. That's the uh, area of the ground in Norfolk, of course. So we're spinning around this side here. That's where we've just come from. It looks a bit dark. Dark clouds looming. But if I spin now, you can see ahead of me two little dugouts and a little stand over there. My vision is rubbish, but I think that says Holt United FC as well. And the white rail goes all the way along this side. Perfect for a little village, if you like. To have a facility like this is terrific. 
and this is half of what I love about ground hopping is going to all these places, some big, some small, and just seeing what you get everywhere is different. Um, this is different. And if you've never been ground hopping and you're watching this video, that's half the attraction is you pick somewhere you're going to go and you just never know what you're going to get when you turn up there. Um, it's a real love, if you like, as we look back at where we've just been. And one of my favourite bits of ground hopping is when you first walk through the entrance and you see what's ahead of you and all the little quirks. And that's exactly what I've got here at Holt today. Totally unexpected and yet I love it. So that's one final look there at the goal, at the covered area, at the little brick dugouts. But don't take my word for it, why don't you come to Holt yourself and watch a game and I would love to hear what you think. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this video, there'll be some stills at the end. If you have, click on like. If you've hated every minute of it, click on dislike and then why not subscribe so that all future videos that I do go directly to your YouTube feed. And once you've subscribed, click on the little bell. You click on the little bell, you'll wake up in the morning, there will be a flock of seagulls sitting in your back garden. Thanks for watching, speak to you soon. And this is Holt United Football Club.